activity, you'll need glue, something to draw or write with, a ruler, scissors, something to twirl your paper around, whether it's toothpicks, a wooden dowel, or you can buy an actual quilling tool at your local craft supply store or online. I also find it helpful to have tweezers, though they're not essential. You're also going to need a glass of water, a piece of paper to glue your art down onto. I like to use a thicker piece of paper and I actually cut mine out of a cereal box. And then you'll also need some thinner paper that you can cut into strips and then twirl to make your art. You can use construction paper, wrapping paper, old birthday cards, or really any sort of extra paper you have lying around. First, you'll need to cut your paper. Now you can buy quilling paper online or at a craft store that's pre-cut, but if you don't have any of that, you'll need to measure and cut it yourself. fun part, twirling the paper. You, you'll need your glass of water and your toothpick unless you have a quilling tool. So start by moistening your hands in the water until they're just a little wet. Hold the toothpick and roll the paper around it using your moistened fingers. Then carefully start to roll the paper around the toothpick while keeping the toothpick steady. Once you've got a nice sized curl, Use your index finger to push it off of the toothpick, and voila! You have got a piece of twirled paper ready to go. your curl into different shapes. Maybe a teardrop shape. Or you can make an eye. Now I'm going to show you how to use the paper quilling tool in case you can get one. your roll tight or you can let it go loose. To keep it tight, apply some pressure here with your left hand and slide it off using your thumb. If you want to keep it tight, you could glue it there or you can let it expand. I think we're 
ready to make our own art piece. Take the paper. And maybe you want to draw a design first and then fill in the rest with quilled paper. I'm going to draw myself a flower pot that I can fill with succulents. Okay, I've got a part of a flower pot and I'm going to fill in the rest of the drawing with my quilt paper. 